The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Morning. 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 Yes. Still? And you? <laughs> you all are well? Yeah. Okay. We are live. So, Benny. First of all, your chief executive, Peter Moore, Tom, was on Liverpool Live today that while he doesn't have a crystal ball, he doesn't know what's going to happen, but Philip Coutinho is a dedicated, intense Liverpool player right now and is delivering. But he also said, maybe ask Jurgen when you see him later. So, what are the chances of losing Philip Coutinho in January and what reasons do you have for thinking that? I have actually no reasons to think about it. The only thing what you are doing is uh, is asking me that doesn't change my, my my situation. And I said it a few times. We never spoke about transfers in this moment. So whatever I could say would not stop, obviously, your questions. So then I thought it makes sense that I don't answer it. <laughs> it feels a little bit like waste of time. So it's nothing, whatever I, if I don't say anything, it's enough in to speculate and think, ah, he doesn't say that because of that. That's really nothing to say in this moment. I'm completely in the situation. And um, nobody, I can say that, nobody came to me so far and said, oh, Phil will be away huh? in January. I, nobody who has influence on it. Um, and so that's all. I'm completely fine with the situation, how it is. We had this big story in the summer. I have no desire to have it again from now on until the end of January because we play around about 20 games in this time, in this period. So really try it. I will say nothing about that. And um, at the 31st of January, we can then shake hands and say, what a wonderful time we had together. Huh? <laughs> a journalist and me, not Phil and me. <laughs> so, big game then. What, yeah, thank all you. Your Derby so far. What is the secret? How special a fixture is this for you? Very special, very special. I think it's um, what a week, what a week for us with an away game at Brighton, what with a difficult place to go. Then playing this all or nothing final against Moscow, and then the derby is waiting um, with the opponent resting the team on Thursday night. Um, that's um, all very special with a new manager, Sam Allardyce. One of the most experienced, if not the experience, most experienced manager in the Premier League. I played him now, when we meet on Sunday, I played him in three different clubs already and I'm only two years here. So, um, And at each club he, he did the job. So um, obviously he's very successful and, and, and you, we know what we will get if you want. That doesn't make it easier to be honest because all Sam Allardyce teams are difficult to play that's no secret and um, but on the other hand side we are we were in a good moment and uh, we have to again how I said already we have to learn from our mistakes and uh, after the last very clear win in the Champions League when we played um, Maribor we were not spot on in the next game and we have to be for sure tomorrow. I'm sure the derby makes it a little bit easier to be spot on. That I would say <laughs> the Tottenham, uh, Tottenham game was not important. No, it was. But we made that mistake and um, we have to show that we learned and we have to use our, our um, experience. We have to use our, the atmosphere at Anfield. It's our home ground and everybody needs to see that and feel that after the first whistle at least. You spoke as well last week of having history with Sam Allardyce. So, what do you expect to get from him? A good organisation, a clear structure, um, set pieces on highest level. Sigurdsson is born to deliver set pieces, I would say. Um, yeah, a lot of fights for second balls, for sure. 
we need to we need to do that, and uh, we need to be ready for that. It, well, let me say it like this: It's not so we know everybody knows um, what um, how Sam Allardyce teams are playing football in moments like this, and that's has all my respect. 100%. The, the, the thing is, it's much more important what we do with it. And our, for us, the challenge is, for all of us in the stadium, the challenge is that we don't expect that we play football like we did in the last 20 minutes against Moscow. Because that was confident, it was flying and all that stuff. We have to start, if you want, from the ground, from the basis again. We have to, we have to look for challenges, find challenges and win challenges. We have to be perfectly organized. We have to protect our all the things we do in a, in a perfect way. We have to um, to be ready for hard challenges that will happen there. But from our side, for sure, it should not be overly hard, only consequent. And um, that's all what we know about a game like this. And then we can win the game. There's a lot of talk about Emerson maybe playing 10 men behind the ball, parking the bus, as we call it here. If that happens, are you tempted to start your fat four up from the start? Because it was such a, a wonderful night at the end of the year. Uh, if, I have nothing to say about lineup from our side. Um, that's. Um, Actually, I didn't decide it so far. So we played on Wednesday, and we have to we have to wait uh, um, for sure today and uh, maybe until tomorrow to make a lineup. But um, I said it already in another interview. I have no problem, and you can all name it like you want. But I have uh, no problem with nicknames like Fab Four. But that is disrespectful against all the other players. It is. Uh, we played a fantastic game at West Ham, and there was. Um, Alex Oxley chamberlain involved. We didn't have so far Adam Lalana, and I think he would fit fantastic in each boy group or band in this world um, and on this planet. And um, Daniel Sturridge, Tom Solanke, all these offensive players, and the, 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 that's that's not it's not fair. Just but it was for the last game, so okay, there will be um, really good offensive players if nothing happens in which order or whatever. We will see, but um, that will be good. After such a wonderful performance in the week, I guess your fans might be hoping for more and more goals, but how patient might your players have to be? Yeah, that's what I said. Very important. We have to start from the back. We have, we have to we have to start really with the first whistle to do the right thing in the right moment. We have we spoke already about. I spoke already with the boys about that. Um, we should not. Or it's not allowed to expect that we that we play like we played in the last twenty. 25 minutes against Moscow. It's not allowed. That it would be silly. We have to, we have to really work hard in in the best way. We have to be patient, like we have been patient against Brighton. Yeah, Brighton in the first 20, 25 minutes, because there is not no easy way to go through. That's for sure. And at the end, it's still it, we must make it as difficult as possible for the other for for, for Everton to to. To win any yard on the pitch, and um, that's that's our job to do. There are so many things to do. They are completely different to the last game, to be honest. Um, not before the start, because we had no real idea how how Moscow will will play. But um, we forced them then actually with the result in their bag that they had to win and all that stuff to do it like they did it, and we used that. And in this game, it will be different because um, I don't think that anything will change uh, in this game until the final whistle um, from the match plan of the other side. And um, um, that makes it, how I say, it will be hard work. I have no problem with that. I like it. That's Derby. He has no favorite in that Derby. It's, um, and very often in life it was like this, that the, the, the team it's, everybody spoke very positive about before, like you do now about us and the other team, who is actually in a really positive run as well. They won the last three games now in a row with the game last night with, I don't know, 15 changes or something like that. Um, and a good run as well. So, But in this game, if you think about it, yeah, people would say it will be difficult for Everton. It will be difficult for us as well. And at the end, we have the better chance because we play at Anfield and that's what we have to show. Juliet. Um, Jürgen, you say that being disrespectful to the other players then. Going back to that Tottenham resort, you moved on as a team squad so quickly from there in such a short space of time. So, we can all see what's happened, but how much work has gone into that and how difficult has it been to get the players to come into to what we're doing now and producing the goals and, and the form that you're doing? 
I, I don't know. I didn't, it didn't feel difficult or whatever. It didn't feel more difficult than it was before. Um, we, we, we played this season so far really good football. We spoke about that a few times. I mean, but we didn't use the situation. So if you now we had, I don't know, 66 shots on goal and 33 goals or whatever. I don't know the numbers exactly. But before we had the same number of chances or even more and didn't score. So um, we had, didn't have to change a lot. But we have to. We, we have to. To, to change a few very decisive things and that is the, the main focus is on defending as a team it's, it was our job it will never end probably it will never end but um, it's our job to, to make sure that you don't discuss all the time our defense it's because it's not the problem was never our defense yes in single moments but you cannot talk about 500 situations in a game and you talk about always about one or two situations we had to sort it as a team and um that's the best thing. In the last game, the door opener was the first goal, of course, and but the second goal was a team goal. It was defending together. It was a pass which we forced from them, and we was we won the, pa- the ball. Sadio, pass, pass goal. So for me, for the world, the most the, the nicest thing is how we finish it. For me, the nice thing is how we win the ball in this moment because we are compact, one it up, but but still compact, uh, and that's what we have to be. And um, so. Um, I'm not sure was it easy, was it difficult. It was just a job we had to do. And um, after Tottenham, for sure, we need to show a reaction. Um, but it's now long ago, and um, we have to we have to carry on. There's no doubt about that because um, all what we again what we are talking about is the uh, is the past, and we have to we only have influence on the future. And the next the future is Everton, and we have to be ready for that. Mike, yeah, again, how different a proposition do you think Everton will be than they? They may have been ten days ago with the new manager, and as a consequence, how different will your strategy be? I had a home game against West Ham right before Sam. Sam was in the stands, I think. Um, yeah. Um, there's no doubt about the quality of Everton. It was kind of a negative run. It was um, no results, no confidence at one point, and they not sure, but they needed a kind of a change. They can only, or they thought they needed a, a change. That's what they did. It needed a little bit of time um, to, to to get it. But we all know that Everton is, if it's not top six, it's a top seven team. Then usually, and that makes it really difficult. It's a fantastic club, and um, so um, I. Don't know how big the difference is because I didn't watch a lot of games five weeks ago. Now I saw the last four. That's uh, that makes it that makes it um, really different then. And they are in a good moment and they gain confidence. They scored the goal of the season probably. Wayne, nice one. And um, so a lot of positive things are good in Park in the moment. And um, that I have no problem with that. They can win all the games over the season apart from the games against us. That's all it is. <coughs> This is your fourth Merseyside derby. Has the the occasion matched what your expectations were of it? You know, as as somebody who knew about the Merseyside derby watching from afar, but now being a part of it, has it lived up to that? Has it gone beyond what you expected? What's it like for you in terms of the intensity of it all? The last. Of the- I saw the I saw the Merseyside derby at Everton, the one-one draw before I came. To Liverpool, I think it was the week before I before I signed as a manager, and um, so it's always um, it's. I'm not sure. I don't have. A, I didn't have a lot of expectations to be honest. I didn't think a lot about it. So, but it's it's a derby and in, at its best, and it, I, I like it. And um, so far, how I realized it, there's a lot of respect between the two clubs, and I really like that. Uh, to be honest, I, we don't in the game. Yes, still respect, but try everything to win it. Try everything. But around the games, we are we live in one city, and there's enough space, obviously, for 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 supporters of both clubs. I know, meanwhile, a lot of Everton supporters. You, you meet them um, all day around the club, and um, so that's um, absolutely okay. I have no problem with that. But in the game, I want to see only us at our best. Wednesday, you said that Jordan will play 100 percent more playing this one, having missed the the game Sparta, which was an important game. Is it a sign of the times that even your captain has to get used to being rotated? I think it's, a, it's. I'm not sure if it's English or it's old-fashioned or whatever. You, even a captain cannot play all the time, so that's how it is. It it is like this. You cannot. 
bring him only because the armband. He's in a good moment, he's in good shape, but for this game I made a decision for that and I thought it makes really sense in these kind of weeks, not that I, that did I plan, but you need the players on the pitch, they want know 100% in a derby what's about. So it's... Um, that makes sense, I would say. And um, so it was, I made the decision for last week and I only spoke about it because I knew that um, people will find out, oh yes, fantastic game. Jordan didn't play, so make a, a shit story of it. And um, so I tried to, to put a story. Um, but there are shit stories, so I cannot change that. Um, if, tell me another word for it. Yeah, yeah, there you, are you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, he's such an important player for us, and um, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I don't get it why I have to to say that, but I, I'm, I, I live in the city and I live um, here, and I know, obviously, I get it a little bit how people sometimes are talking about and um, being a skipper of Liverpool is the hardest job in world football because the man who had the armband before is Steven Gerrard. So, sorry he finished playing football and it's now that we, we cannot get him back. So that's really, and I want that everybody respect it, that Jordan Henderson is our skipper because he deserved it, because the right man for the job and all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that he can't play all the games until he's injured, so that's, that's how it is. And so actually it's no story but in England, especially in Liverpool, it is a story and that's why I said a little bit about it. Story done. Okay. Uh, Ruto, we'll go to you. Very quickly, one. We'll have to be in English, Ruto, I'm afraid, because yeah. we're live on television. Yeah, but I just wonder if you could compare the derby here to the Dortmund Schalke one, and if you think there is a difference because here both teams are coming from one town. That's a difference, and that's a big difference. And uh, to be honest, uh, in, in the game, um, Dortmund and Schalke has uh, two fantastic. Stadiums, so both in both stadiums, it's a, the, the, the atmosphere and always in the the legal, everything is legal and no um, things you don't want to have around around the derby. Then the atmosphere is always outstanding, and um, that's how it is, and that makes it special. But the biggest difference is they are not in one town; they are only close to each other, and that's here. And uh, here we we all live together in one town, and how I feel it, the respect is much higher here from one club to the other than it is between Dortmund and Schalke. So I know people, they never, it's only 30 miles or 25 miles away apart from each other, they never were in Gelsenkirchen, where Schalke is at home or in Dortmund, when you, only for the games or not even for the games, they really try to <laughs> drive around. So that, um, that, that's, that's how it is. As long as, it, uh, as we, we, we battle on the a, on a, on a football pitch, I love it. All the battles around, I don't like, to be honest, because I think life is too short to do things like this. And um, that's it. Okay, guys, thank you very much. You have to go. We have to go. Oh, I have to go. He says. Bye.